Gonna be potentially some rain at Churchill Downs. There's also gonna be some rain over here locally too. Yeah, if we were running that race locally, we'd have to watch out for some strong storms in the evening hours, right at about the time that the Derby would be running. Uh, thankfully, it's not gonna be a complete washout for this weekend. So we do have lots of sunshine, some warm weather to enjoy over the course of Saturday. It's just those evening hours. Uh, maybe when you're watching the Derby, you wanna be indoors as much as you can because some rain is moving through. It's all coming with this cold front, which means a change in temperature for us by the time we get to Sunday. Out ahead of that, you can see showers and storms on exact track radar ahead of that uh, low pressure as well as the cold front that all sweeps in a little example of what we could see into tomorrow evening. And if conditions line up just right, definitely not a slam dunk as of right now, uh, we are at a one out of five risk for severe storms. So there may be one or two storms in the green highlighted area that could get up to severe strength. So it wouldn't be all of them, wouldn't be wide spread, but one or two may end up bringing some strong winds as well as some large hail roughly between 5 to 8 p.m. So regardless if we see any of those isolated severe storms or if it's just regular rainfall, plan on at least something coming through after 5 o'clock tomorrow. And it is Star Wars Day, by the way, May the 4th, uh, looking at a beautiful start to all of that. But as we head into the evening hours, whether you're watching the Derby or starting that Star Wars movie marathon, may want to hold off until the evening when those storms come through. Temperature wise it's feeling like summer up to near 80 degrees during the middle of the afternoon but all that additional heat sets the stage for those stronger storms which you could see on a future track bubbling up here it's not all of them but one or two as you can see are getting a little on the strong end starting about 4 30 we get to about the i-39 corridor at about 6 30 and then we see the storms exit by the time we get to 8 8 30 in the evening so right at about sunset all that should be moving out we go into to Saturday night with maybe just some spotty showers, but for the most part, we dry out nicely as we go into the end of the weekend. So 80 degrees for Saturday under a sunny sky to start, and then Sunday drops back down to the low 70s, but that's still pretty warm for this time of year. As we look ahead in the forecast from there, we continue to have quiet conditions and warmth into Monday. Tuesday into Wednesday, more scattered showers and storms, and then we drop in temperature back to average about a week from today and your most accurate 10 day forecast. In general, we are looking at some cooler weather moving into the middle of the month, so not quite as summer like the deeper we go into May, but at least for now, we're getting a preview of June weather, including some storms over the next couple days. To round out the week in the four degree guarantee hit the bullseye. So cash total up to 169. I don't think I'll have the same luck when it comes to predicting the horse race tomorrow, but hey, the forecast is spot on for today.